Hi everyone, I am Dr. Sagar Sahu and welcome to Vet Surgery Attics. So I welcome you to the ninth lecture of Anesthesiology before going to the lecture. Okay, this is my Facebook handle. Okay, I post different surgery techniques with photographs and this is Instagram page in which I post different notes also the class notes. This is my Twitter handle and if you haven't subscribed to the, my YouTube channel, you can please subscribe to the YouTube channel. In this channel, you will find different type of contents. If you are a student, you will find lecture contents, principle of surgery already completed, anesthesiology ongoing, okay, you can see anesthesia protocol. Also, if you are preparing for JRFs, there are some solved MCQs also. And if you are a veterinary practitioner, you can find different surgery playlists, okay, surgery cattle buffalo, dog and cat, lab animal, and if you are into the uh, pet animals also, you can find some contents. So there are many more contents in this playlist, different playlists in this channel. So you can please subscribe to the channel and you can recommend this channel to your bed buddies. Okay. Now coming to the our main lecture. Today we will be discussing about the butyrophenols. In the previous class we discussed the phenothiogens. Today we will be discussing the butyrophenols. So from uh, five heads. Okay. First one is introduction. The common agent which is basically used is azapirol. Okay. In, there are many more drugs, haloperidol, dropidol, but the common agents which used as pre-anesthetic is azapirone. Similarly, just like phenothiogens, they are recommended for healthy animals. They have fair muscle relaxation and poor analgesia. And they, are, they can be used alone or the azapirone can be used alone for non-painful diagnostics. And it can be used with opioid or ketamine. I will discuss the dose rate of azapirone and ketamine in the last slide. Okay, for painful procedures, diagnostic procedure or minor surgeries. And remember this one, this is common sedative used for swine. In the phenothiogens are basically for dog and cat and horse and this is for swine. Okay, the injections which come as stresslin, this is a famous name, stresslin, this is given for the pigs. You can see the picture of pig. This is a very common sedative used in pigs. Coming to the mechanism of action of the butyrophenols, they are nearly similar to the phenothiogen groups. Okay, so similarly to the phenothiogen, they bind to the dopaminergic receptor. This is adrenergic and serotonin. This is cholinergic and the H1 receptor. Okay, so if you compare to the uh, phenothiogens, you, you can remember if you have uh, seen the previous lecture video, the D1, the phenothiogen bind weakly to D1 in comparison, the better phenons bind moderately. And in pro to D2, the phenothiogens bind moderately while the butyrophenone binds strongly. The remarkable difference is the alpha 1, the phenothiogens, they bind very strongly to alpha 1 that is why they cause very strong hypotension hypotension okay but the butyrophenones they bind weakly to the alpha 1 that is why the mean arterial drop in mean arterial pressure is very high in phenothiazine compared to the butyrophenones so they bind to d1 and d2 due to the blockage of dopaminergic the similar actions like phenothiazines, there will be the similar actions like phenothiazines like increasing prolactin which will cause galactorrhea and uh, loss of thermoregulation also anti-emetic, anti-emetic, okay. All the properties are same like the phenothiazines, only the uh, degree of binding differs, okay. Next, the effects on different systems, the important one is the cardiovascular system and the respiratory system. And for the cardiovascular system, they usually reduces the cardiac output just like the phenothiazines, but they usually decrease the heart rate. While in case of phenothiazines, you, know, you will not uh, find any change in heart rate. In some patients, you may find slight tachycardia. Similarly, in the respiratory system, they have minimal effect just like the phenothiazines. Okay, but you may find slightly increase in respiration rate or and also decrease in partial pressure of 
carbon dioxide but they are very very minimal not that significant and regarding the effect on other system they are exactly same as the phenothiazine groups but only difference is the penyl protrusion the penyl protrusion in case of phenothiazines you may find dose dependent penyl protrusion in case of horses okay and this group is used in swines in case of swines less than 4 in the less than 4 percent population you may find the penyl protrusion so penyl protrusion is not a major case in case of buterifenons okay next we will go for the pharmacokinetics the pharmacokinetics is basically for the azoperon azoperon <coughs> because this is the common drug which is used as pre anesthetic nowadays the azoperon is also used in some wild animals so the onset of action is within 10 minutes the peak effect in case of young animals or you can say piglet you may find the onset of action is rapid within 15 minutes and in case of adult it takes 30 minutes okay the duration is similar to the phenothiazines so it is for 2 to 3 hours and the dosage is very commonly used in swines okay it is the the two dosages at the dose of 0.5 mg per kg but they have tranquilizing effect tranquilizing so when you are bringing a new stock of uh, swines you see to prevent the infighting they are given with the stress nail injection so that there will be prevention of infighting. At the dose rate of 1 to 2 mg per kg per day, they will have sedative effect, sedation. Okay. And they can be combined with ketamine. At Azaparin at the dose rate of 1 mg per kg per day, and ketamine at the dose rate of 5 to 10 mg per kg per day will produce complete immobilization. Okay, if you want Anastasia, simply double this dose rate. If you double this dose rate, it will cause Anastasia. But this much dose rate is also enough for some minor surgical interventions. So, this is all about the Buterphenos, very small class because all the properties are similar like the phenothiazine group. Okay, so if you like this video, uh, if you like this content, please subscribe to this channel and please share among all your best friends, uh, seniors or juniors so that it can reach up to wider mass. Okay, so I will see you in the next class. We will be discussing the alpha 2 agonist. See you. Bye-bye. Take care.